In my life, I have met many people with big dreams and goals. Yes, they did something to achieve the result. They started and tried to do something new, but years later I met these same people. They remained the same, with the same way of life, the same way of thinking, and the same laziness and inefficiency. They started but they needed a system. They did not have a systematic approach to achieving results. They didn't have a reasonable plan. And in the end, they lacked discipline. Discipline can change a person's life beyond recognition, discipline is a systematic reasonable approach to solving any problem. Everyone thinks that discipline involves super hard work or, as they say, super successful success. Discipline, first of all, means the reasonableness of managing your time and your potential. A disciplined person is not necessarily one who is always busy. This is the one who was able to reasonably build a system of his further repetitive actions that ultimately lead to the achievement of a certain result. Otherwise, it can be called a cumulative effect. When we do something day after day, the effect is cumulative. Let's imagine a person who decides to learn a foreign language, for example, English. An undisciplined person who has been motivated to learn a new language will spend their entire first day learning the language. Suppose in one day he learns 200 English words, the next day his desire to continue learning will disappear dramatically. I think many here recognize themselves. Motivation is always short-term, but discipline is eternal. Since motivation is built on emotions, and discipline on habits. A disciplined person will act differently. He will break these 200 words into, say, 5 days. It turns out that he will learn 40 words a day. Moreover, he will set aside time to study English grammar. Discipline does not mean hard work. In this case, such a person just needs to devote some time to English every day. So, over time, he will learn many English words, grammar, conversational English, and so on. Again, discipline means intelligence. We can spend the whole day and do nothing for the next few days. In this case, the efficiency will be zero. However, it would be wiser to do a little bit every day. After all, this leads to a cumulative effect and does not make you a workaholic, it saves you time and your nerves. So, we understood what discipline is and why it is so important. Various business books and successful YouTube bloggers love to hang noodles on their ears. They often touch upon the issues of discipline, they tell how every minute of their life is painted on paper. It is because of this that people develop a misunderstanding of discipline. But people must understand that the most important factor of discipline is the factor of reasonableness. What is rationality? Rationality is, simply put, when we sensibly evaluate our capabilities and our time. This is when we sensibly allocate time for our work, for our rest. It is impossible to work all day, but with the help of discipline, we can spend a little time daily and accumulate a beneficial effect. It is also important to understand that discipline is good for its physiology. That is, it is built on habits, not emotions. That is why a motivated person quickly quits what he started. If you want not to quit what you started, you need to endure one month, your habit during this time will be firmly formed in your brain. So, you have a certain goal in front of you, and to achieve this goal, no doubt, discipline is needed. You arm yourself with a pen, some kind of notebook, a calendar, and a phone with the internet, because you may need to find something on the internet in order to make the most detailed plan of future actions. You look at the calendar and reasonably estimate the estimated time to complete this task. For example, if you want, say, to gain 5 kilograms of lean muscle mass, then it can take from 4 months to 6 months. Now you should roughly write down what you should reasonably do in a month, then in a week, then in one day. You must clearly and intelligently define all your small steps, which, with the help of a cumulative effect, will lead to the achievement of the goal. Keep in mind that you should always start small. You can not immediately load yourself on the first day. Because of such a mistake, you will quickly quit what you started. After intelligent planning, all you have to do is do the same thing day after day. After a month of this practice, you will develop a strong habit. But it often happens when things don't go according to plan. For example, something happened that you did not foresee. Because of this, the plan is violated, and you again abandon what you started. And here there are two options. Either you set aside spare days or spare time to make up for these tasks, and distribute these unfinished tasks a little bit daily. This is the best way not to quit what you started and to keep planned and reasonable. 
Moreover, use the Benjamin Franklin method. Benjamin Franklin is a person, one might say, progressive for his time. Franklin came up with a plan to achieve moral perfection. He singled out the 13 most important qualities that he had to learn and which he had to unquestioningly follow. For each quality, Benjamin decided to form a stable habit, and he did this in turn, moving from one quality to another. He started a book, where he made a table. All 13 qualities were written vertically, and the days of the week were written horizontally. He marked with dots the days when he did not observe virtue. A week is a time he set aside for each virtue. To move to another, you need to have no dots on the previous one. If he violated the principle of some quality, this quality had to be trained first, from the first day of the week, until there were no points in the whole week. Franklin had a lot of points, and he went through the entire table in one year. His method shows how you can form absolutely any habit in yourself. This method is guaranteed to help you in any endeavor and will make you much more disciplined. Thus, my dear friend, discipline is your best assistance in achieving results.